Hey guys, it is Arika Misha, and today we will be baking Le Betty Crocker cookies. Today we will be baking the Betty Crocker double chocolate chunk cookies. Yes, look at that. Double chocolate chunk cookies. When I saw these chocolate on chocolate, I said, oh yeah, we gotta cook those for the channel. So, we got three packs. Uh, this should be plenty. Uh, and it's easy. Y'all know I make it real easy for you all. All right, little quick. You just need, you can do butter, water, and eggs. That's it. Or Betty's tip here. I love Betty's tip. Uh, Betty's tip here said so you can use oil, water, and eggs. So, let's see. Betty's tip. To prepare, you use vegetable oil, one third cup of vegetable oil, two tablespoons of water, and one egg. So, I've got my three eggs over here because I've got three bags of cookies. I've got my um, two, four, six tablespoons of water because it's two tablespoons per bag two four six duh and my one third per bag of my oil over here so I've already got them all measured out so we can go ahead and get these cookies quick done and easy I'm gonna make my cookie mix y'all will see and then I'm gonna put it in the freezer for an hour that's how I like doing my cookies put your cookie dough in the freezer for an hour and then it helps your cookies be nice and soft in the middle and a little 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 crunchy around the edges I said little. Anyway, let's get the bacon. All right, let's dump all three of our bags in here. Quick and easy. I'm telling y'all, Betty, Duncan, all of them. They make it real easy for us. Oh, okay. They got like the chocolate chunks in here. Okay, let me show y'all. Give y'all a real close up of that chunk. Okay, they got the real. The big chunks of chocolate, chocolate squares, not like the chocolate chips. It's like the chocolate, chocolate, chocolate squares. Okay, that's good. It smells good. I love me some Betty, Duncan, all of them. Pillsbury, all of them. I love it because they make it real easy for me. No reason why you can't make no cookies for your family, for your kids, for yourself. Ain't no excuses now. No excuses, y'all. And I'm using my big mixing bowl today because I knew I was doing three packs. So I needed to do all three bags in here. Just gonna make a bunch of cookies. Whole lot, a lot of cookies. Chocolate, chocolate chunk. That sounds good, especially for chocolate lovers. This is the perfect cookie. You love chocolate? It's the perfect cookie for you. And I love chocolate. All right, so we got the second bag. Let's get the third bag done here. Right, quick and easy. Get that dumped in. Looks like a lot, but by the time we add these eggs, this oil and water, shy, all that's gonna melt down. Okay, so we got all that. All right, let's add our oil. Now remember, I've already pre-measured everything out. One third cup of oil per bag. Two tablespoons of water per bag. Got everything all pre-measured out. Let's get our eggs cracked. Hold on, you all. I like cracking my eggs in here. Just in case I get a shell. Because sometimes I do get shells, you all. Sometimes I do. All right, we got two eggs. Let's get that third egg. Get that third egg cracked in there. All right, good. We've got all three of our eggs. One, two, three. Okay. All right, Joel. All right, that's it. And we just mixing this up. It's easy. Thank you, Betty. Because I ain't got all day, Betty. Mm-hmm. Ooh, it smells so chocolatey. Chocolatey. Chocolate. That's how the New York people say it, chocolate. Shouts out to all my New York subscribers. Shouts out to y'all. I'm going to visit New York one day. I don't know. New York a little crowded for me. A little too crowded for me. I'm a little small city girl. Not that New York style kind of city. I don't know. You never know. One day maybe. Alright. So we got to get this all mixed up. Alright. Oh that smells so good. Okay. Come on now. Get it all mixed up. Oh, it's getting harder and harder to mix. Ooh. Okay. 
All right, get these sides scraped up. Make sure y'all can see. Hold on, y'all. Let me adjust it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, now don't be tripping. Okay. Okay, this is going to be cute. All right. Very quick, easy chocolate. Chocolate chunk cookies. All right, okay. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, smells so good, y'all. So good, smells so good. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Okay. All right, it's coming together. Coming together. All right. Okay. Okay, all right. Okay, y'all. I'm going to finish getting this mixed up, y'all. And then, like I said, I'm going to put my mix in uh, in the freezer for an hour. I'm going to put it in a smaller bowl, though. I'm going to put it in the freezer for an hour so we can get all nice and chunky and all nice and solid and cold. And that helps your cookies be nice, soft in the middle, a little crunchy around the edges. I think I told y'all that already. But, yeah, that's my little trick I learned, too, from all this baking and cooking. So, put your dough in the freezer for an hour. Um, and I'll be back after I put it in the freezer for an hour. I'll be back to show y'all. I'm um, just gonna tray it up and get these in the oven. Let me see. Okay, 375, 11 to 13 minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on 375 for 11 minutes and see. Um, let me give y'all that word of the day. <coughs> the word of the day that God has been dealing with me on. God said to me when I was, you know, talking to God, you know, how I'm talking to y'all, just talk to him. You ain't got to be all, you know, just, just talk to him like you just, you know, talk regular. But what God had been dealing with me on is, God was saying to me is that, why is it that we get so worked up when somebody try to correct us? Why we get so offended? Correction is good. I mean, I mean, don't. It's, there's a difference between somebody trying to help you out, you know, tell you something to help you out, correct you, you know, when you've done something wrong. Now, why is it we get so offended when somebody's trying to correct us? Mm hmm. Think about it. Word of the day. Sometimes we need correction. We ain't perfect. Sometimes your behind need to be corrected. My behind. Yeah. I mean, you know, me, me, bringing it. You know, me. I just be talking about me now. Sometimes my behind need to be corrected. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Hey, God does the correction now. I'm just telling you about, about me. God does the correction. But you know what? Sometimes somebody may come to me and say, hey, da 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 this and this. Don't be afraid of correction. And don't reject correction. Sometimes correction will help you be a better person. That's just the word of the day. All right, y'all. Let me finish getting this mixed up in the freezer. And I'll be back showing y'all how I'm going to tray it up so we can get these cookies in the oven. Okay, so I've got my cookie dough out of the freezer an entire hour, one hour. Don't forget, I'm the cookie dough. So, I've got it out, got my pans already, got my little one inch ice cream scooper duper thing that I always use. And you just scoop it out. Uh, which tray? I'm going to do this tray first. All right, let me so y'all can see. All right, hold on. Okay, there we go. And I'm just dropping my little cookie dough like that. And I like using this ice cream scooper, this little one inch ice cream scooper. That way I know all my cookies are gonna pretty much be the same size. All right. So, y'all see how I'm doing this? Y'all don't have to sit here and watch it. But I'm going to show y'all how I line them up on my pan real quick. And your dough's going to be really hard. I mean, you know, that's what we want. Get it down like that. Okay. Scoop down like that. Okay. All right, you know what? I'm gonna switch this down, put these down, and then I'll put this here. Okay, all right, make sure we got space on the side for our cookies to spread. Okay.
Okay, I think that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna get about six on, the, on each pan, which is fine. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get these in the oven at 350 degrees, 11 to 13 minutes. I'll probably set my timer to 11 minutes, just to be safe. All right, y'all, and when I come back, it'll be the grand finale of all the cookies. Okay, guys, it is the grand finale on our cookies, the chocolate chunk cookies. Oh, come on, light. They turned out really nice. Let me zoom y'all into the cookies. Oh, yeah, they turned out really nice. And I did end up cooking them for the 13 minutes. The 13 minutes was perfect. Yep, y'all see it. Quick and easy cookies for the family, for yourself. You want to be greedy, all by yourself. All right. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.